Hey guys, thanks for watching Single Mom Couponing. My name is Jamie. Um, I did a Rite Aid slash Giant haul today because I had two bonuses that I wanted to complete on Ibotta. I had a $5 for 18 offer Weekend Warrior and then a $5 for a 19 offer Campfire bonus. I already had six offers tracking on my Weekend Warrior. That was from last week. And then I had eight offers tracking on my Campfire bonus. So altogether, I only needed 12 rebates to get $10 back in bonuses. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't do that all at Rite Aid because I didn't find that many, um, you know, deals that I wanted to do that had I bought a rebates. So that's why I went to Giant and threw in a couple deals there. Um, the Giant, the items I did at Giant are over here. They're all the, like the food items. And then from the dish soap and the sleep over is everything I got at Rite Aid. My total for all of this including tax was free plus a 63 cent money maker that does not include the ten dollars i got back in bonus bonus money from ibotta so it was technically a ten dollar and 63 cent money maker but even without the bonuses i still broke even after my tax which is fantastic for all of this i was just thinking to myself over the last week that i was going to need to find a dish dish soap deal soon and as you can see i picked up a ton of that today so i'll be set for a while um, but i did five transactions total at Rite Aid, four on one card and one on a different card. We do have another barcode this week for spend 50, get $15 back in bonus cash. I maxed that out on my first card and then on my second card, I just did one transaction so far. I might go back later this week um, and do some more transactions. We'll see if my, if some of my Ibotta um, rebates reset. And then at Giant, I got six rebates um, for everything that I got over there. Um, so that was just one transaction, um, but I'm going to break down everything for you right now and go over, um, all of my totals for each individual transaction, but everything overall between both Rite Aid and Giant, um, not including my bonus money, like I said, was free plus a 63 cent money maker. So I'm definitely happy with how everything went today. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to break down each transaction for you right now. All right, so this was transaction number one. The Palm Olive are on promotion this week. Spend 10, get $5 back in bonus cash. There are other items included like the Fabuloso and the Suavitel, but I just needed the dish soap, so that's why I grabbed three of those. They're $3.49 each, and there's a 75 cent digital coupon. The Colgate toothpastes are $3.99 each, and when you buy two, you get $3 back in bonus cash. That's a weekly deal with a limit of two. I was fortunate enough to find four of them with the 50 cent freshness stickers on them. However, I didn't realize that those count against you if you're using like the five off 25 coupons. And in this transaction, I had both a five off 25 and a seven off 35. So I got my total up above 60, but I didn't account for those 50 cent coupons because I didn't realize I needed to. So my 75 cent digital for the palm olive did not come off. And I had another, I had another coupon for, oh, one of the, the $1 digital coupon for the Colgate that didn't come off either. Um, so just the four off of two digital coupon came off for the, the toothpaste. And then I was like four cents away from completing my bonus cash challenge for Colgate and getting $8 back. So I picked up one of the Colgate toothbrushes that are on sale for 99 cents. The throat calm was in the clearance section for $3.63 and there's a $2 I bought a rebate. So I picked that up as a filler. The Arm & Hammer are still on that monthly promotion. They're buy one, get one free. And when you spend 15, you get $5 back in bonus cash. My store only had five of the toothpastes. So I picked up one of the scent boosters for $5.99. And then I submitted to Ibotta for $1.50 back on each of the Arm & Hammer toothpastes. That has a limit of five. The Banana Boat are still on that monthly promotion for buy two, get $2 back in bonus cash. The ones in the travel section are $1.49 each. So I picked up two of those. Um, again, that was another filler. And then the Asano are on monthly promotion for buy one, get $10 back in bonus cash. Um, I found one of the moisturizers for $14.99, so I picked that up. Uh, let me show you my receipt for this one. So, oh, and I threw in one of those ice cubes to get myself up to the $60 mark to use both of those coupons, the 5 off 25 and the 7 off 35. Uh, but again, you know, I, I should have gotten my total $2 higher than that, but it's fine. So there's my 
39 cent candy with the 7 off 35 coupon, the two banana boat travel size sunblocks for $1.49 each, the throat calm for $3.63, the Asano for $14.99, the Colgate toothbrush for $0.99, cents, and my 5 off 25 attached to that. That was the um, digital coupon that we've been using for a couple weeks now. Uh, the palm olives for $3.49 each, and as you can see, my digital coupon didn't come off. Uh, $3.99 for the toothpaste, and here's my four off two for that. Uh, the Arm & Hammer scent beads for $5.99, one of the toothpastes for free, and then the other four toothpastes, $5.49 free, $5.49 free, and then all of my 50 cent uh, stickers from the Colgate. So my subtotal was $48.38. With tax, I paid $50.02. I just rolled bonus cash. I got back $43 in bonus cash. So that is $15 for spending $50, 5 for the Palm Olive, 3 and 3 for the Colgate toothpastes, 5 for the Arm and Hammer, 2 for the Banana Boat, 10 for the Rose Hip moisturizer. And then I got back 664 points, which is about $1.32. I also submitted to Ibotta and got back $9.50. Um, that was $7.50 for the Arm & Hammer toothpaste and then $2 for the throat calm. And then I submitted to Shop Me Um and got a dollar back for one of the Colgates that I didn't have a coupon for. And then I completed my Colgate bonus cash challenge, so I'll be getting $8 back for that. So my final cost my final total for this transaction was free plus a $14 and 44 cent money maker factoring in the tax that I paid for me it was free plus a $12 and 80 cent money maker okay so here's transaction number two I did the palm olive deal again actually most of this is repeat deals the palm olive spend 10 get five the banana boat buy two get two and then the rose hip uh, moisturizer and night cream buy one get ten um, the nature's bounty that one, I'm working towards a bonus cash challenge. I forgot that they were buy one, get one free this week. And my this store that I went to was not tagged. And the cashier didn't say anything when I was checking out. Um, so that's, I mean, that's kind of on me too. Because the vitamins at Rite Aid are almost always buy one, get one free. If not the same brand, then it's like they rotate through the brands. So I should have at least checked. And I didn't. I wasn't thinking about it. So I only got one of those. I should have gotten two you know, whatever, it's fine. So let me show you my receipt. Uh, the two banana boat travel size for $1.49 each, the Asano night cream for $16.99, the moisturizer for $14.99. Here's my five off 25 coupon. All three of my palm olives, this time the 75 cent load to card came off and then the uh, nature's bounty for $7.29. So my subtotal was $46.97. With tax, I paid $49.40. I just rolled bonus cash. I got back $42 in bonus cash. That's $15 for spending $50, $5 for the palm olive deal, $2 for the banana boat, and $10 times two for the Asano items. And then I got 527 points. So that's about a dollar and six cents back. Um, and then I didn't have any rebate, rebate apps to submit to this time. Didn't get any special points on fetch or anything like that. This transaction had a final cost of $3.91. With tax, it was $6.34. Um, not one of the best transactions, but um, again, I'm working towards that Nature's Bounty bonus cash challenge, which it's huge. It's spend 61, get $15.30 back. Um, so I have a ways to go on that. But overall, with everything I got today being a moneymaker, um, you know, it's okay. It still all worked out in the end. So normally I wouldn't be happy with a cost that high for something like this. But when you consider everything else I got today, some of my other moneymakers kind of absorbed the cost of this transaction. Plus I needed the dish soap anyway, so it all worked out in the end. This was transaction number three. This time around, I remembered the Nature's Bounty were buying one and free. So I got my second one. The iron was the cheapest they had at this store. It was $7.99. Uh, the pepsin, that was just a clearance item. It rang up for $4.24, and I had a $3 load-to-card coupon. I needed that as a filler. The Rose Hip Night Cream for $16.99. Buy one, get $10 back in bonus cash. Um, I picked up a Shea Moisture uh, Oil, Argon Oil, for $12.49. I had some tracking left over from last week for the Shea Moisture Spend 15, Get 5 deal. That's the monthly deal. And I think I had... I had some tracking on Fetch, and I think I 
could redeem that offer one more time for the three dollars back when you spend 15. so i got i did get the three thousand points for that on fetch the vaseline is a great deal this week the lip products they're buy two get one free and when you buy two you get four dollars back in bonus cash that has a limit of two if you can find these ones right here the vaseline oh come on focus Vaseline Advanced Healing. Those are only $2.09. At least they were at my store. Um, the other ones that I picked up were $2.59. My store only had one of these, so I had to get five of the other ones. Um, but that's okay because it's still a great deal. Um, so, so they're like I said, they're buy two, get one free. And then when you buy two, you get $4 back in bonus cash. So let me show you my receipt for this one. There's the Clearance Pepsid for $4.24 with a $3 load. The Asano Moisturizer, the night cream. For $16.99 with my, my 5 off 25 coupon there. The Shea Moisture for $12.49. The Iron Buy One Get One Free. And then all my Vaseline lip items. Buy two, get one free. Buy two, get one free. So my subtotal was $44.07. With tax, I paid $46.23. I just about had enough bonus cash for this one. I did have to pay $2.79 out of pocket. I got back $38 in bonus cash. That is $15 for spending $50. $10 for the rose hip, $8 for the Vaseline, and then $5 for the Shea Moisture. And then I got back 521 points, which is a little over a dollar back. And then on Fetch, I got back like 3000 3,000 some odd points, 90%, um, I know I calculated it, 90% of whatever I got back on fetch was $2.86. So that's what I'm counting towards this transaction. I forgot to include my points in the breakdown for this one. So the final cost was about $2.21. With tax, it was about $4.37. This was transaction number four. If you don't have the bonus cash challenge, this really isn't that great of a deal. Um, but I needed two more Ibotta rebates to finish my bonuses, so I decided to also complete my bonus cash challenge. So the Immune Soft Gels, the orange box, those are $21.99. They're buy one, get one 50% off, so the second one rang up for $8.99. I'm sorry, no, that one rang up for $10.99. The Sleep 3, those are $17.99 each. The second one rang up for $8.99. I had a $1 digital load to card for the immune and a $2 digital load to card for the sleep. So here's my receipt. The immune with the dollar load to card, my five off 25. The second one half price, the sleep with the $2 load to card and then the second one half price. So I paid $51.96, I just rolled bonus cash. I got back $23, so that's 15 for spending 50 and then $2 times four because you get $2 back for each one. And then I also got 600 points, which is about $1.20, and I submitted to Ibotta. I got back $5 for the immune for buying two, $4 for the sleep three for buying two, and then I submitted to Shop Meal. And I got a dollar back for the second box of immune that I didn't have a coupon for, and I got $2 back for the second box of sleep that I didn't have a coupon for. Uh, and then my bonus cash challenge, I completed that. It was uh, $15.30 for spending $61. So that makes this transaction a final cost of 46 cents. All right, this was my fifth and final transaction. I did switch cards for this one and do this on a separate card because I maxed out all four barcodes on the previous card. Um, I did the palm olive deal again. Um, the the tea relief reboost. That's I think that's a pretty decent deal. The only one that's tagged though is this kind, the spray that goes um, like up your nose. The the one, the other spray. It's a throat spray. That one is not tagged. And I went to two different stores to look for that, and neither store was tagged. So I don't think the throat spray is part of it. I think it's just the nasal spray. But the reboost are thirteen ninety nine regular price this week. They're buy one get one free. When you buy two, you get six dollars back in bonus cash, and then there's a five dollar I bought a rebate. So that makes it what like two ninety nine for both so that's a pretty decent deal um i did i repeated the banana boat i repeated the arm and hammer this time i was able to find six of them and then no i mean not that it really mattered but it's cheaper to get six toothpastes than five toothpastes in one of the scent beads and then the colgate i repeated that again so let me show you my receipt 
here's the, the two banana boat, my three palm olive, here's my five off 25 coupon, my 75 cent load to card, because again, this is a different card. Um, I had a second five off 25 that I was able to use in this transaction. All four of my Colgate, both of my digital load to card coupons came off this time, my $1 off one and my four off two. And then all six of the Arm & Hammer, the buy one get one free, and then there's the reboost at the bottom. There's my 50 cent freshness coupons. So my subtotal was $42.12. With tax, I paid $42.72. I got back $39 in bonus cash. So that is $15 for spending $50, $6 for the reboost, $5 for the palm olive, $2 for the banana boat, $5 for the arm and hammer, and $3 times two for the Colgate. I got 599 points, which is about $1.19. I submitted to Ibotta and got $12.50 back. That's $7.50 for the Arm & Hammer, $5 for the Reboost. Um, so altogether, that makes this transaction free plus a $10.57 moneymaker. With tax for me, it was free plus a $9.97 moneymaker. This was my giant haul. I was able to pick up six rebates between all of this. Um, the cereals are on promotion for buy three, get $5 off instantly. There is There are a couple of different digital coupons, but the one that I used was $1.50 off of three. There's separate rebates. I got 50 cents back on Ibotta for the Cheerios and then $1.50 back for buying two boxes of Lucky Charms. The Trick cereal bars are on sale for two for five. I just bought one and it rang up for $2.50. There's a 25 cent Ibotta rebate. The Gatorade, um, those are a freebie this week. They're on sale two for four. There's a $1 digital coupon. You'll pay three. You'll get back $2 on Ibotta. That's a dollar for each. And then a dollar back on Shopmium for the other one that you didn't have a coupon for. So that makes them both free. And then the yogurt, um, that's on a separate promo promotion for spend 15, get $5 off instantly. There is a dollar off of 10 digital coupon for the singles. And then there's also, I believe, a dollar off two for the multi packs, but I used mine last week because this is a, this is an item that I buy just about every week. So you might have both digital coupons, but I only had the one. So the total for all of this, it'll, it comes to $17. The singles are on sale 10 for 10 and the multi-packs are two for seven. You'll get $5 off instantly. So that brings it down to 12 and then um, your digitals will come off. I, like I said, I just had the one. So I paid $11 out of pocket, got back $8 on Ibotta. That's five for buying 10 of the singles and three for buying two of the the multi-packs. So with tax, my total was $25.55. Um, I got $12.25 back on Ibotta and $2.36 back on Fetch. That's about 90% of what I actually earned on Fetch. And I got a dollar back on Shopmium for the second fast twitch. So my total for everything, including tax, I only paid 18 cents in tax, but including the tax, it was $9.94 for all of this. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.